Hello guys, in this video, I'm just going to explain how to add more than two controllers to play local co-op in FIFA 23. So this is a PS5 console. So I'm going to add four players. You can connect through Bluetooth or you can use USB type C wire. So first, in order to play local co-op, right, you need to go to this play modes on this home screen, select that. And here we need to go to this quick play modes. And here, right, you need to go to this kickoff. So kickoff is the best local co-op. So up to one to four players, you can play. So I'm going to choose this kickoff. This is online friendly. So if you want to play online, you can play online. So I'm going to choose that kickoff. So you need to tap advance. So instructions is already given. You can create your own kickoff name or you can sign into PSN. So you need to tap this advance. So this is the primary, right? Primary controller. So you can set the player in home or away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this left analog to move home side. Okay. If you want to change that right kickoff name, you can change that by selecting this switch kickoff name. Tab X. You can create new one or you can select the existing one. I'm going to create a new kickoff name. So here you need to type it. So I'm going to keep the key. Select this tick mark and tap X. Super cool. So kickoff name has changed. You can switch also kickoff name. So this is the existing one. Okay, fine. Okay, don't tap advance because we are going to connect another three players. I'm going to add the second controller. So I'm going to use this USB type C. On the other end, I have connected to PSV console. So connect to the controller. This is the easiest method. If you have already not connected, right, you can use this. Or if you have already connected, just simply press this PS button. So here we need to choose this existing user or you can assign as a guest. I mean, you can use this controller as a guest or you can assign existing user. So I'm going to add as a user. Once it is connected, right, you can remove this USB type C wire because already it's bad. So you can see this two light one, which means second player. Okay. So I'm going to choose this quick play. Play as one time guest. So we need to choose this quick play. Super cool. Another controller is connected. So you can move it to away hard home. So I'm going to choose that. So right side, you can create a new kickoff name or you can use sign into PSN. So I'm going to create a new kickoff name. Dev PS. Then select tick mark and tap it. Super cool. Second player is connected and the kickoff name also is set. Now I'm going to add the third controller. So this is the controller, right? So you can connect through Bluetooth. So for that, right, you need to bring it to pairing mode. So you need to press this PS button and share button. If you have already paired your controller directly, you can press this PS button. But this controller is not yet paired. So I'm going to press this PS button and share button simultaneously. We need to press and hold these two buttons for some seconds until it blinks. It should be blinking. So it's blinking, right? So take the primary controller and go to settings, home screen and settings. We need to go to this Bluetooth devices in accessories, Bluetooth accessories. Check on this accessories phone. So I'm going to connect it by tapping this primary controller. Do you want to register this Bluetooth accessory? We need to say yes. So we can take off this wire, this time C wire. So now you can choose existing user or you can add as a guest. But this time I'm going to add this third player to another user. We need to select the user and tap X. Third player also is connected. So now I'm going to verify on FIFA game, go to FIFA game. Here you can see this third controller also is connected. So now I'm going to move this to left side to select home. Here you can select this existing kickoff name or you can create a new one. So I'm going to keep it same. And then I'm going to add this fourth controller. That is a three lights, right? Which means third player. So now the fourth one to connect easily. I'm going to use this USB type C. So on the other hand, I have connected to PSV console. So it's charging. Now we have to press this PS button. So here you can select the existing user or you can 
add the new user or you can select as a guest so i'm going to choose to select quick play so as soon as i selected right you can see this light bar so four dim lights are there which means fourth player now i can remove this usb type c wire the fourth one right i can select home or away so you can create a name once you selected the name tap the stick button so now all are ready everyone should select x x x and x so advance so now you can play all these matches okay all these matches for local co-op classic matches house rules ultra football ua champion leagues cup final home and away best of series so select any of these games you can see this person's names so select it and we need to select then we can start the match you can skip this now you can play local co-op so four controller is connected right you can see the light bar one two three four cool now i'm going to exit by pressing this options button and to end the match so that's it friends this is the way you can connect up to four controllers to play fifa 23 local co-op so that's it friends this is the way you can add up to four players in fifa 23 on psv console so that's it. Hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please put a comments and feedback from your forms. Thank you. Bye and take care.